Click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching Seoul Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends today in this video lecture I am going to show you the checklist for RCC slab and beams before starting concrete. So this is the important topic for today but special for site engineer and every engineer must be learn uh, these points uh, before starting concrete work. Okay so checklist. For more videos, you must like this video and subscribe this channel because I upload uh, civil engineering videos to this YouTube channel and new informations. So uh, if you need civil engineering update notes, uh, articles, information, uh, update uh, civil engineering videos, so you are able to visit my website www.civilglobal.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video for more update videos and also just visit to my website to learn something uh, new about civil engineering. Let's start. So uh, checklist uh, uh, for uh, RCC slab and beams before starting concrete. So the first one uh, we have in checklist, the first one that is uh, before starting the concrete. Uh, before starting concrete we have to check the concrete clear cover for slab. Check the concrete clear cover for slab. Is it okay or not? So this is the first one, checklist for clear cover of for slab. Okay, or we can say, uh, sorry, check the concrete cover. Check the concrete cover uh, for slab. So this is too much important before starting the concrete work, right? So, uh, if uh, uh, this is the cross section for slab, these are the steels, okay, and this is the clear cover for concrete, okay, must be checked the clear cover for concrete and slab. So this is the first one, check, okay. So the second one, uh, we have uh, the beam sides and bottom concrete should be also checked, okay. So the beam side and bottom, so this is beam. This is cross section for beam. Okay. So this is the beam cross section. If I say this is the bent top bar and also this one. Okay. So this is the concrete cover for beam. And these are sides. Okay. So uh, the beam sides and bottom concrete should be also checked, okay? Second one, beam sides and bottom concrete should be checked, should be checked. Okay, so this is the second one uh, check, okay, before starting concrete work. In the third one, we have a main bar and distribution bar spacing should be checked, okay. So, uh, third one, main and distribution, main and distribution bars spacing should be checked okay so this is the slab okay and uh, if i say these are main bars okay these are main bars okay and these are distribution bars so we have to check what spacing that what is the spacing but with the drawing okay with the drawing design we have to check spacing center to center distance uh, between main bar and distribution bar okay so this is the spacing okay for the uh, main bars and this is for the distribution bars right okay so uh, you must be check the main and distribution bar spacing right and the fourth one we have a 
the beam step should be checked according to the drawing okay so this is the beam okay uh, this one is the beam right uh, this one is a beam and these are the stirrups okay so the fourth one the beam stirrups should be checked according to the drawing okay beam stirrups should be checked should be checked right and uh, the fifth or uh, the fifth one we have a uh, deshittering oil shall be applied to the beam for uh, uh, and for slab uh, deshittering okay so uh, when you want to uh, uh, use concrete so before starting the concrete work we have to apply the oil deshittering oil on the beam and slab it will be too much easy uh, for the deshittering or removal of farm work okay so apply Deshattering aisle for slab and beam. For slab and beams. Okay. And the sixth one, or uh, sixth number, we have a, the proper number of chairs should be provided for slab. So, everyone, uh, maybe uh, you know about this. Okay, proper number. of chairs should be provided for slab okay for provide for slab and the seventh one we have a uh, the slab thickness and beam uh, depth should be checked if there is any problem then clear on the spot okay so we have to check uh, the uh, we have to check uh, the beam uh, the beam or the slab thickness okay beam uh, check thickness for the slab and beam already i will uh, i just simple we can say checked the beam depth and slab thickness according to the drawing slab thickness okay and the eight number uh, we have uh, uh, our seven uh, the other one is eight so we have to check the slab level in all direction okay check slab level in all directions this is too much important okay keep in your mind this point and uh, the nine number uh, we have uh, we must be checked the center to center distance uh, of jigs okay so these are the jigs uh, uh, when you are uh, making the farm work for the uh, concrete work or for the slab so uh, there are the supports okay so are those supports are called jigs okay so this is the uh, farm work if i say uh, this is the slab okay and these are the jigs for the making farm work Okay, so the distance between two supports or two jigs should be checked. Okay, we have to take three feet. Okay, spacing should be take three feet. Right, keep in your mind this. Ninth one, uh, we have a, what? Yeah, must be checked uh, center to center distance of jig. Okay, center to center distance of farm work jig. Farm work jigs. Okay, so uh, this one is the uh, ninth one. Okay, so uh, it will be three feet. Okay, three feet. Take three feet. And the tenth one, we have a uh, tenth one beam to beam measurement should be checked as a per architecture drawing. If there is any problem, then solve it. Okay, so spacing uh, between one beam to other. Our spacing between uh, our span uh, distance between one column to other column okay we have to check it okay spacing to one beam to other 
are from one beam to other. Should be checked. Okay, if there is any problem, so solve it on the spot. Okay, and eleventh one, we have the farm work concrete shall be uh, tight and prevent from the leakage or building and spraining of concrete. Okay, so uh, it should be not leak during the concreting. Okay, we have to check what or the farm work should be tight. The farm work uh, should be uh, yes. Uh, the farm work should be tied. The farm work should be tied and prevent from leakage. Okay. And now we have to use the other one. Eleventh has been done. Now we have a twelve. Yes. Now the beam and column uh, junctions shall be checked. Uh, so that is uh, that should be water tight. Okay. So uh, the column and beam junctions shall be checked. Okay beam and column junctions should be checked okay it would it will uh, it should be uh, watertight right and the 13th one uh, we have a we must be checked the beam and column uh, uh, are straight or uh, place in the position is a per drawing or not okay so placing of uh, or we can say a chick beams and columns are straight or not is a per drawing if there is any problem solve it on the spot okay and the 14th one have uh, check the farm work surface is it clean or not okay check the farm work surface is it is it clean or not if it's not clean so clean it clean or not okay and the 15th one uh, we have a reinforcement shall be checked for the beam and slab as a per RCC drawing. Okay, checked. Yes, checked. Uh, reinforcement for beam and slab as per architecture drawing. right so 16th one we have a you must be check all the uh, connected electric conducts work and electric points okay check or we can say simply uh, uh, we must be checked all the can uh, we can say uh, connected we have to check all the connected uh, uh, circuits okay and electric uh, electrical points okay and the last one is uh, too much important okay that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, to use uh, uh, the plaster or we can say tape for those place uh, if there is any place okay so uh, we can say uh, no, we have to use
used tape or plaster okay tape plaster okay if there is any hole in farm work okay so we have to apply the plaster or tape on those flow uh, on those uh, places uh, which are open so we have to uh, full proper okay because uh, uh, when we are placing concrete so during concrete it will uh, it may be leakage okay then it will make a lot of problem for us and it will also uh, make the segregation okay many reason can be occurred so these are the uh, checklist uh, before starting concrete work for the beam and slab for more videos you must like this video and subscribe this channel thank you all the best bye